Hey guys, welcome to the next video in our MTG Arena Economy series. We're actually gonna be taking this in two segments. I'm gonna be talking about the value for entering into all of the different limited events. Today, we're gonna to be talking about sealed pools specifically, which is gonna be a little bit of a shorter video than our next one when we talk about quick, traditional, and premier drafts. But for today, we're just gonna tackle sealed and we're gonna discuss why you should absolutely be playing sealed pools in the beginning of sets to build your collection, as opposed to buying packs. Every single day I get asked in my stream how to best build a collection, whether you're a free-to-play player or whether it's worth it to buy packs. Now, previously we did talk about the value of the pre-order packs and whether or not those were worth it. I personally still think it's better to play seals than it is to buy the $50 pre-order pack because of the numbers I'm about to show you guys. But regardless of whether or not you've done that, now you have to decide what to do with your gold and gems. So let's go ahead and take a look at our sealed option, which is again, only something you can do for the first few weeks uh, of a new set before it goes away. All right, here we go. Here's our stats for our entry fee. It is 2000 gems, which is between 14 to $16. I have to do the math on it. It depends on how many gems you buy. If you buy them in bulk, you get a bit of a discount uh, versus buying you know, $20 at a time but you are guaranteed to get six packs in your sealed pool event, as well as three packs for the prizes, no matter how many wins you get. You also get an immediate refund of 2000 gems for just going zero wins. So technically when you're building a collection and deciding whether or not you should buy packs, you can go ahead and just consider this a break even and any wins you get in your sealed pool event is just basically a free roll. Cause after you subtract the 200 gems you get for your zero win prize pool, you've only paid 1800 gems to get in for nine packs. If you were to purchase nine packs, it would cost you 1800 gems. So every single win you get from here on out is just extra. You're getting an actual discount on these packs. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how much the discount actually is. As you can see from my little math overlay here, if you get zero wins, you're breaking about even. There are a couple other factors that we'll talk about as soon as we're done discussing the math but zero wins is about even for your packs if you were thinking about purchasing them to build a collection. Once you get to three wins, you're getting a huge discount, way over 50% off your packs, which is the border I think is super good value and it's 50-50 isn't terribly hard to get. Now I know a lot of my viewers are constructed players, they're not very good at limited. So, you know, two to three wins is about what you guys can expect to get you know, moderately easy. Uh, if you're averaging two wins going between zero and four, I still think you are getting insanely good value when it comes to building a collection. If you're like me and you're a limited only player, this math really doesn't matter. The packs are kind of a non-starter for me. I do consider each mythic and rare to be worth 20 to 40 gems. So my goal personally is five or higher with these sealed pools, which is one of the reasons why I actually don't do a lot of seals. I typically do, you know, about five to 10 of them in the beginning of a set, just because I enjoy sealed. And with COVID, I don't get to go out and do it at my local card store or participate in day ones of GPs. So I scratch the itch by dumping some money that's not the best EV. If you're like me and you're a limited only player, five wins is really the bare minimum that you wanna get. I really don't think that sealed pools are a good way to go. So if you're trying to conserve your gem count and not build a collection, this is definitely not something you wanna be considering. Because while I say, you know, going three wins and getting a over 50% discount on your packs is great value, it really isn't great value if you have no use for those packs if you don't play any constructed. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at those other things I told you we were gonna discuss when it came to deciding whether or not sealed pools were right for you. So even though you get nine packs total in your sealed pool, regardless of how well you perform, there are a couple of things that are a bit different. The six packs you guys open in your sealed pool are gonna contain more cards. They're gonna have the entire 15 cards in a pack versus a pack you might open here on MTG Arena that will only have eight cards. Now those extra cards are just commons, so they're not super important, but they are great when you're trying to build a complete collection. The three packs you get from the prize pool will be the exact same as if you were to purchase them, so there's no difference. But another thing to consider is that those six packs that you are building your collection with uh, in the sealed pool, you actually can't open wild cards. So if your goal is potentially to complete a set by being able to build historic or getting wilds to complete uh, other decks that you're looking to build, this also might not be th a thing that you wanna do. 
Another neat thing to consider is that when you are opening packs, you have these little wheels here, here at the top, and every single time you open a pack, they actually fill up. There is six pips on each one of the little wild card counters, and then every time you open six packs, you get one of those wild cards, which is actually why uncommon wilds are easier to get than common wilds because the uncommons are here on the bubbles so you'll get extras of those in addition to the ones you find in the packs so if wild cards are something that are really important to you and not the current set that we are releasing here for limited seals are definitely not going to be something that you want to go after if your complete collection or the collection you're trying to build has more to do with older sets than it does with current sets. Now I will say one of the cool things about having those extra packs that have more cards in them, whether you're doing sealed or drafts, is you're actually gaining more vault value. Once you complete a full play set of commons and uncommons, you're going to be getting 0.1 or 0.3% in your vault, which is the little blinky, you can't see it, just kidding. It's this little uh, blinky guy up here at the top. And when you open it up, you can go ahead and get some free wild cards. So every single time you draft or sealed, you'll be getting more of this vault value. I have other videos. I'm not gonna go too deep into this because we've discussed this a lot in the past. Check out the rest of the economy um, upload section if you're interested in that. But it is extra value, which kind of compensates a little bit for the wild cards that you uh, won't be getting from opening those six packs. But that said, if we go ahead and take a look again at our math from earlier, if you're getting an average of, let's say, what, three wins, you're getting those packs at half price. So then you can go ahead and purchase a few extra packs or enter another sealed and you're getting even more value. If your packs are less than half price, then two entries would be more than enough, I would think, to compensate for the lack of wild cards. But again, if you're more of a historic player, then that's not something you're gonna be super interested in. Uh, next week though, guys, we are gonna be talking about the better value as far as uh, more gems back in your pocket and how it's actually better for you to build a collection that way because you're not taking as big of a hit. And that'll be when we discuss the three different types of draft, and that is um, Premier, Quick Draft, and Traditional Draft. And we're actually gonna discuss multiple aspects of those numbers as whether you're trying to build your collection or whether or not you're an EV grinder, as well as whether or not you are a solid limited player or not, because they have different layouts in the prize pool. So if you are a weaker player, quick draft might be better for you for a couple of different reasons, uh, both because the prize pool is spread out and because it allows you to spend more time reading the cards. All of that jazz will be discussed in our next economy video. So I do hope you guys will come back and check that out. Um, I think that's all I have to say for limited for now. We have another couple of videos coming out that will help you guys build sealed pools. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much. I know today's video was a tad bit on the short side, but I didn't really know how to break up sealed and draft. And I didn't want to do like sealed in one type of draft and two types of draft in the other one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informational for you. And uh, make sure you guys hit the follow, subscribe, comment button. I don't know. I'm not a YouTuber, so I'm not very good at shilling this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night and be safe. Love you guys. I'd like to give a special thank you to those of you who have signed up for our Patreon. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. This content is also sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. and KMC Sleeves. If you guys enjoyed the content, consider checking out the links below and using our discount codes. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.